Hello, my name is Burger Kyle, and you clicked on this video because you have one monitor, but you still want to stream. In order to do so, you need to one, have your main content here on your screen. Two, you need to be able to read chat. And that's pretty much the basics of it. If you don't have a second monitor, if you don't have a phone for whatever reason, for instance, when I when I use my phone, on Twitch, very often the chat disconnects. So, um, I, I just, I can't use my phone to read chat. Um, so this is the solution. I even have a 1600 by 900 monitor and it's not a lot of screen real estate to work with, but this is how you can make it work. You have your main content here in front of you in a windowed screen. And then on OBS, uh, you assemble your docs so that you have your chat on one side. You could have it here. You could have it on uh, the right side. Uh, you could have your activity feed so you could see people following you. And then you also still have a view of your scenes and perhaps even your audio here. So this is the way to make streaming work on a one monitor setup where you don't yet have your a second monitor to uh, see your chat. Um, this is really important for streaming because of course you want to see who pops in the chat, who's chatting, uh, who's stopping by, and you want to be able to respond to them in, in a, a, a timely a timely manner. So uh, let's see, maybe some other tips that I have for you. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you another important way of uh, streaming is to add uh, audio sources for uh, each of your your sources. So uh, for instance, you could do so by getting an application audio capture. So this is if you want to listen to um, music and you can keep it separate here. Uh, from the rest of of your your sources so uh, if you want to just turn down the music for the stream you can do so this way um, let's see another tip is to um, keep your scenes organized here and I, I've just tabbed in the the scenes that I use the most just so they're distinct from the other ones sometimes I'm using all of the scenes so I don't want to delete some of them but I just want to emphasize what some other ones are. So they're easier to see, easier to lock onto. So those are just some general ideas I have for streaming here on a on a one setup monitor, 1600 by 900. Uh, not able to use my phone, but uh, still want to be able to stream and see what, what's going on in chat. So that's what I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching.